Hi, my name is Jose, and I want to tell you about the best day of my life. It's the day I got my very first phone. Oh, it's so cool. It can play games, it can take pictures, send messages. It has an alarm clock, compass, flashlight, and wow, it's so... Um, well, <laughs> that was probably the second best day of my life. Let me tell you all about my bestest day ever. It all started when it was guest speaker week at school. We got to miss math class. Woo, you got the answer right! Way to go! All right, now for our next challenge. Can anyone tell me how many candies are in this jar? Whoever comes the closest wins all of the candies in the jar. Okay, let's hear some guesses. Okay, hey, 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 one at a time, one at a time. What about you? 37. Yeah, that's good. What about you? 40. I think there are 40. Okay, sounds good. And you? 60, definitely 60. Oh, okay. How about you, Jose? Uh, 61? <laughs> okay, class, be kind. <clears throat> 61. Okay, let's see whose number is the closest. Can I get a drum roll, please? The correct answer is 61. Jose, you got the answer right. Okay, okay, everyone. We have a special guest with us today. He is a leader in our town. People call him the gospel guy because um, gospel means good news. And he has good news to give us today. He knows all about a book called the Bible. The Bible is a book God wrote. It tells us where we came from, how we are to live, and where we are going after this life. So, let's give him a huge welcome. I hope it's not long. Or boring. Wonder what he's going to talk about. About God. Duh. Well, I don't even believe there is a God. There has to be a God. Someone made all this. It didn't just happen. I hope there's a place where no one ever dies. Hi, everybody. I'm the Gospel Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds a little funny. The word gospel means good news. And what good news do I have to share with you today? How about more candy for everyone? Great idea! Candy for everyone! Can we make that happen? <laughs> Anyhow, I'm here to share with you some good news about heaven. So here's a question for you. If you were to die today, are you 100% sure that you would go to heaven? I hear you thinking, what do you have to do to go to heaven? Be good? Go to church? Be baptized? Pray seven times a day. Receive forgiveness from Jesus for the things that you've done wrong. Which one is correct? What is the right answer? I don't know. That's a hard question. Thinking about dying really scares me. Where would I go? I don't know. But I want to know. It all started when God made everything. He spoke, and the stars and planets were formed. He then made the earth, the animals, and the first two people. Their names were Adam and Eve. He loved them and fed them in a beautiful garden. He only gave them one rule. Don't eat the fruit from one special tree. God called breaking his rule sin. If they ever did sin, they would die one day. And sadly, they did eat fruit from that tree. And then, one day, both died. The truth is, kids, all of us have sinned. We sin by accident. We sin on purpose. No one is perfect. Can you imagine if God told everyone every bad thing you ever did or said or thought? I would be ashamed, wouldn't you? You see, there has to be payment for sin, for my sins and for your sins. The payment for sin is death. Since we have all sinned against God, we will all one day die, just like Adam and Eve did, maybe when we're old or maybe when we're young. When that day comes and our sins are forgiven by Jesus, we go to heaven to be with God. Heaven is a beautiful city full of light, laughter, fun, and candy. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that candy part, but I can hope. Boys and girls, the good news is that in heaven, 
no one there ever cries, gets hungry, hurts, and we can live there forever. The bad news is, if you are not forgiven, you'll have to pay for all of your own sins, without God, forever. That place is called hell. It was never made for you. It's a place to punish the devil for his evil deeds. He has caused all the death, disease, war, and pain. It is a place where you are forever separated from God. Yes, young man, do you have a question? This news is all bad. Is there any good news? Yes, there is. God sent his son Jesus to the earth to understand us and to save us. He came as a baby. He grew up to become a man and healed the sick. He fed the hungry. He taught God's word and he told everyone he was God's son and taught them about heaven. He said that he would build them a house there so they could one day live forever with him. Many people loved and worshiped him. They believed what he said, but not everyone believed. Many people hated him because he told them the truth that they were sinners and had disobeyed God's rules. They didn't like that. They got angry and decided to hurt Jesus. They grabbed Jesus and arrested him, even though he didn't do anything wrong. They hit him, spit on him, whipped him, and forced a crown of thorns onto his head. They nailed him to a cross and he bled. Jesus died on the cross for the payment of our sin, for your sin and for my sin, for everyone's sin. God said the only way we could be forgiven was for a perfect person who had never done anything wrong to take the punishment that we deserve. And that's what Jesus did for you, for everyone. If you were the only person in the world, he would have died just for you. He loves you. Jesus was buried in a cave, but then three days later, he walked out alive. Everything he said was true. He proved he wasn't just a good man, but he was God. He's now back in heaven, preparing a place for us there, for you. So, let's review. The Bible says, one, you and I have all sinned. Two, the punishment for sin is to be separated from God forever in a place called hell. And three, Jesus took your punishment on the cross. The Bible says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God wants everyone to go to heaven one day. He makes it as easy as receiving a gift. Everyone knows how to do that. A gift is free. You don't have to buy it or earn it. You just receive it. You only have to take it one time. Since Jesus is God's gift, you must open your heart to receive him as your savior just one time. One last picture, and then I have to go. It's a picture of you, me, all of us. You see, the first time we sin, it separates us from God. He can't be around us because of our sin. He is perfect, holy. Not having God in your life leaves an empty feeling in our hearts. Nothing we do can fill it. So we try to build our own bridge by being good, going to church, being baptized, praying seven times a day. In our hearts, we want to know God and be forgiven. Everyone wants to go to heaven, but nothing we can do on our own can earn heaven for us. Our bridges are too short. But the good news is Jesus loves you and what he did on the cross built the bridge all the way to where you are, from us to heaven. There is only one way to heaven, and it's through him. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Is anyone born on the right side of the bridge? No. Can anyone put you across the bridge? No. It's your decision. So how do you cross over? You must believe Jesus died for you and then receive his gift of forgiveness. Friends, it's all about 
Jesus. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, I'll be here for a while. Thanks for coming to our class today and speaking with us. Bye, guys. We'll see you. Okay. Okay, class. We have a few minutes before the bell rings. Um, you can sit and talk quietly with your neighbor or get started with your math homework. Hi. Uh, um, uh, Mr. Guy, can I ask you something? Sure. What's your name? My name is Jose. Hello, Jose. It's nice to meet you. What can I do for you? Um, uh, like, how do I receive that gift? When did you do that? Well, I did that when I was a young boy. A preacher explained this to me. I had attended church as a child and had even been baptized as a baby. But I had never remembered Jesus ever forgiving all my sins before. Something that special I knew I had never done. But on February 23rd, when I was a nine-year-old boy, for the first time, I realized I was on the wrong side of the bridge. I knelt down by a chair, and I asked Jesus to come into my heart, forgive me of all my sins, and give me his gift of eternal life. I have never forgotten that time or that place, Jose. No one ever explained it to me this way. I do pray. I even pray on my knees lots of times a day. I was even baptized as a baby. But after hearing you today, I guess I didn't know how to ask like you did. I never knew if he heard me or, like you said, he had come into my heart. That's right. Wow. I have another question. Does that mean I don't have to pray through another person? I can talk directly to God? Absolutely. So what you're saying is we get the gift for free and all I have to do is receive it? Mm-hmm. Oh. I always thought I had to be good enough to go to heaven. Right now, I'm on the wrong side of the bridge. I would be unforgiven and not be allowed into heaven. Yep. Would God hear me if I asked him to forgive me of my sins? Yes, he would. He promised to forgive all who would receive him. How do I know for sure? Because God's word is true. Jose, he never lies. He keeps his promises. Then I believe. I want the good news in my life, but I don't know how. Will you help me? Sure. We can ask God right now. Right now? Oh, okay. How? It's easy. I can lead you in a prayer, but just saying words won't save you. You have to mean it from your heart. Here's the prayer I prayed when I was a boy. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I believe you are God and you made everything. I believe you are God and you made everything. I know I have done bad things. I know I've done bad things. And the bad things are called sin. And the bad things are called sin. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for all my sins. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for all my sins. I believe you died for my sins on the cross. I believe you died for my sins on the cross. And that you came back to life again. And that you came back to life again. I am accepting your gift of eternal life. I'm accepting your gift of eternal life. Put me across the bridge. Put me across the bridge. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. So one day we can be together forever. So one day we can be together forever. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hey, Jose, guess what? What? You got the answer right. Best day ever! I'm going to heaven! I got the answer right! Can't wait to tell you! Hey Jose! What were you and Gospel Guy talking about? Oh that? Let me tell you all about it! <laughs> that was me when I was 10 years old. Cute little guy, huh? I was so excited that day. That was the day that Jesus Christ came into my life and changed me forever. How about you? Have you ever done that? Did you get the answer right? If not, right now you can receive the same gift that I did, the gift of Jesus Christ. All you have to understand is, one, I know I have sinned. Two, I deserve to be punished for my sin by being separated from God in a place called hell forever. Three. 
and know Jesus took the punishment for all my sin on the cross and rose from the dead. And four, I know I cannot earn or buy my way to heaven. It's God's gift. If you were to die without Jesus right now, where would you go? Is that what you want? Is that what God wants? Wouldn't you like to receive that gift today like I did? In a moment, I'm going to pray the prayer that I prayed when I received Jesus. You could pray after me if you'd like. Right where you are. Fold your hands. Close your eyes. And pray these words from your heart. Out loud after me. Here we go. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I believe that you are God and you made everything. I believe that you are God and you made everything. I know I've done bad things. I know I've done bad things. And the bad things are called sin. And the bad things are called sin. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for all my sins. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for all my sins. I believe that you died for my sins on the cross. I believe you died for my sins on the cross. And that you came back to life again. And that you came back to life again. I'm accepting your gift of eternal life. I'm accepting your gift of eternal life. Put me across the bridge. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. So one day we can be together forever. So one day we can be together forever. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Guess what? You got the answer right. If you understood and meant that, God promised you will one day be in heaven with him. Forever. Now that you have the answer right, go and tell the good news to everyone so they can go to heaven with you.